Okay, we are on lesson 5.6, Algebra, Use Related Facts. How can you use a related fact to find a missing number? What number can you add to eight to get 10? Draw a picture to solve, write the missing number. Well, what number can you add to eight to get 10? I think you guys know this one. How do we make a 10? From eight. It would be an eight what ten? Uh, Enzo? Eight two ten. An eight two ten, exactly. It would be an eight two ten. Now one way we could show that would be with an arithmetic rack. If we just take this top row here, we have an eight two ten. So we could draw it like this. Just draw just this top line. And one, two, three, four, five. We could color those in to make them, whoops. Let me show it the right way. One, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three white ones. And my other two white ones over here shows me an eight, two, 10. So eight plus what makes 10? Eight plus one makes two. Eight plus two makes 10. Exactly. Okay. It says you can use an addition fact to find a related subtraction fact. And here's the little ladybug funky blue ladybug saying, I know that three plus seven equals 10. So 10 minus three equals, if, if the bug knows that three plus seven equals 10, then 10 minus three must be seven. seven, must be seven. So here we have what we call a number bond. It's a lot like, it's a lot like these flashcards that we've been using, okay? It's a lot like that, it's just that it's turned this way instead. So, let's look at this. 10 is made up of three and seven. Three plus seven is 10, and 10 minus seven is three. Eight plus, okay, so find 14 minus eight. Eight plus what makes 14? Again, you could use your arithmetic racks to help you. We could start by putting eight up on top, and then I need to make 14. Hmm, well, let's see, if I did this, that would be 13, 10 and three more is 13. Then I just need one more here on the bottom, that would make a total of 14. How many do I have on the bottom, Enzo? You have six. Six, so eight plus six is 14. 8 plus 6 is 14. So 14 minus 8 must be what, Aaliyah? 6. 6, exactly. Okay, let's look at, let's look at the next one. 17 minus 8. 8 and what makes 17? Hmm, well I'm going to start with 8 on top again. And I need to have 17 total. Let's see, how many do I have if I do that? What does this make? 10, 11, 12. What does it make? 13. 13. So I need more. 14, 15, 16, 17. So I leave my top just like it is, and then I add some on the bottom until I have 17. How many did I have to add on the bottom? How many did I put total on the bottom, Aaliyah? Look carefully, dear. How many did I put on the bottom? Nine. Nine, because see how I have just one over here? I put nine on the bottom. So eight plus what makes 17, Enzo? Nine. And 17 minus eight is what, Aaliyah? Nine. Nine. Let's do another one. 11 minus six, or six plus what makes 11? So I start with six. And I want to have 11. How many would I have to put on the bottom to make a total of 11? 
Enzo? One. Wait, no, not one. Five. Ah, the whole set of five. Sure enough, because there I have ten. One more that makes eleven. So, six plus what makes eleven, Aaliyah? Um, five. Six plus five. Six plus five makes eleven. So, eleven minus six is what, Enzo? Five. Five. Let's do one more together. 15 minus 9. We can use addition. So I start with 9. And I keep adding until I get to 15. And I've watched Aaliyah do this. She goes 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I saw you doing that, Aaliyah. That's a, that's a strategy that works. How many did Aaliyah add to the bottom when she used a strategy like that? Enzo? How many? How many would we add to the bottom when we use the strategy that Aaliyah used? We had nine on top. How many on the bottom? Fifteen. What? Um, on the bottom. The on the bottom, Betty. Six. Six. Five and one is six. Sure enough. Nine plus six is fifteen. So fifteen minus nine is what, Aaliyah dear? Six. Six. Okay. Very good. Go ahead and get started, you two.